highlight some of his defining roles. This development began his SAL career as a minor league division coach in 1974, coaching his son, who was now District 1 president, and eventually sons Jeff and Russ. Quickly, the league recognized his organizational talents as a captain for administrative duty in the late 1970s. He handled responsibilities including, but not limited to, player registration, league tryouts, draft, game show, official score teams, and umpire schedule. As the head scorekeeper, he kept to live in the field from April to June. By 1983, the year Sierra Little League went to the Little League World Series, Mr. Miller became the player agent of the league, representing players as a liaison between the players and the league. In addition to all this, he served many years on the board of directors of the league. And of course, we cannot forget the fan phone schedules that he developed and handed out on each and every opening day. Eleven presidents have had the pleasure of working with Mr. Miller over a span of five decades. While many volunteers have come and gone and worked with them with God, Mr. Miller continues to devote his time to the league that he loved long after his children have graduated. Mr. Miller has a state part of Little League institution that stops with all that the Little League can buy. Teamwork, citizenship, sportsmanship, leadership, character, discipline, loyalty, and honor. On behalf of the Stanford American Little League, we thank Mr. Miller for a lifetime of extraordinary commitment to the American Thank you. 